Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we found the best of when women get rejected and men stop simping. Except, it's an hour long episode, so kick back your feet and let's jump right in. Right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. So, people are always wondering how to deal with a nagging wife, and honestly, I don't know. I mean, this woman is such a perfect woman, she lets me do whatever I want to do without saying a word. I got you trained so well. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, lying works, okay? She's not nagging. Um, <laughs> just just overextend the truth. Give them... <laughs> that is <f> up. <laughs> this is adorable, but damn, he's hilarious. You know, people, they say nowadays, we don't got time to waste each other's time, so we, we gotta be honest with our intentions from the very beginning, you feel me? So I'm just letting you know that that grain fatty, that sh out. So what if I'm wearing granny fatty burnout? That sh out. Well, looks like Lil Uzi lyrics can get you a girl. Pull up, D-Fly. Pass, because the upside down cross. I rock with King. It's when the smoke clears. I, rock, I love I God, too. What the f*** are you talking about? Based on how she was dressed, I don't think she's one for God. Name the most unattractive feature about the person sitting across from you. Damn! Oh, okay. I just don't like this. The sash. You don't Sorry. like the sash? I don't. It's literally hanging over your lips. So then, if someone. Okay. It, mm, but I I'm can't. a good kisser, so like it makes up for it. I had a boyfriend who tried to do that, and it, I threw up. I, I it literally made. So me my go. face is. No, you. you wanna... ah! I'm sorry. Quick. Hey, I'm sure you'll find a woman who appreciates a stash, but maybe she does have a point. You just invite women to your house. Yeah. Low effort. No, yeah, you make effort? Like, what do you do? Yeah, if you like, invite a woman over, I what don't. do you do? It's, it's been quite a long time since I've had to really try to... Yeah, get all that. It's been quite a long time. It's, not, it's like, you know, it's when you're as a kid, getting that girl and you've worked hard for her, and it was like, it was like a grind almost. Yeah. Now it's become boring kind of thing, because I don't have to try too much. He's so confident and just so calm the entire time. How? Woke up to the girl that got the worst edges on this line. Oh, King Dave, if let me... <laughs> Hey, I ain't even gonna lie, shorty. It look like you falling off on BD4. I ain't... You came for me? That's crazy. You the only person with red hair. My the whole line and no BD. Like, it don't even matter. Bitch, oh, edges over there. Oh, wait, wait, whoa. So that's how you feel about the other girls on the line? That's not how I feel about them. I'm just saying. Wow, this guy is an absolute savage. Could care less about what others think. To Nicole, but it's not like, just like, for example, 55%. Hmm. Because I always want my wife to go to the gym with me and be healthy. But are you attracted to me no matter what? I, I love you. Just please, let's go to the gym together. But are you attracted to me no matter what? Yeah, exactly. Hmm, this is tough. Obviously, he's been a bit rude, but he does want her to be healthier. You right here with it? Yeah, what you doing with that? Let me see a little 360. I ain't gonna lie. No disrespect, but I'm a pass, Remy Geek. Remy, that's good. <laughs> you know I mean? right, no disrespect. Wait, wait, wait. Why are two girls walking up the line? What's going on? Your ladies, ladies. Yo, all they gotta do is stay on the line and look pretty. They're not gonna say nothing. Yeah, they good, they good. Nah, I ain't gonna be on the disrespectful. <laughs> Alright, uh, y'all, we back. Two girls just ran, cause I don't know. They running, they think I'm gonna be disrespectful. I ain't disrespecting nobody. I'm wild nice. They were scared of rejection, so they just dipped. What's your body count? Like, total? Yeah, like total. Like two or three. Okay. How many people do you think I've slept with? I don't know. I see that cross on your necklace, so I'm gonna say about 26. <laughs> 26? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that necklace is just there for decoration. I think you don't have, you don't struggle. Decoration? Well, then do you wanna make it 27? I'm good. I can't believe he said that. I'm a child of God. I mean, when you dress up like she is, you have to expect that answer. What's your um, thoughts on women in... Just what's your thoughts in general with, like, equality and women? What? Wow, he really hit her with the what? He was so confused. This is not fun. I am not having fun. I'd rather be at home with my wife and... I'm having fun. This is great. I'm having a wonderful time. Ah, he threw in that sneaky twist, my man. You, uh, to, be honest, to be honest, I will fuck. I, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I will fuck. Trying to fuck. goddamn. <laughs> Only thing is though, you got some big feet. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Like them is like at the edge. 
Bro ain't wrong. Those feet are huge. They want to. They wanted to. Okay. There's not a lot of women that want to. Get off your phone. Hello? Are we really so addicted that we can't stay off our phones for even a second during a recorded interview? One of Adrian's deal breakers is um, someone who doesn't have a J-O-B. Yeah, someone who doesn't have a job. Is I don't have a job. You don't have a job? <laughs> How? Sorry, button. <laughs> Some people would rather their partner be working, and some want them to stay home. It's just how it goes. You have two options. Option A is to stay with your wife for the rest of your life. Option B... B, 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 I choose B. With no hesitation, he in fact chose B. My last relationship, we broke up because he asked me to marry him, but then he asked me to sign a prenuptial agreement, and I said absolutely not. I think that's bogus. I'm not going to sign a piece of paper that says that if you leave me, I get nothing. Like, no, I think that I should have half of everything that you've worked your entire life for. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? She might have been trying to be sarcastic, but it's crazy that there are actually women out there who believe this. My favorite type of music is something I've never heard of, but it doesn't sound like fun. I think it's very fun. It's called nerdcore hip hop. It's nerdcore hip hop. Hip-hop. Yes, um, it's uh, people who identify as nerdy, rapping about the things they love: video games, science fiction, having a hard time meeting romantic partners. You know, <laughs> it's really catchy and fun. Losers, in other words. Well, what in the world is nerdcore hip hop? Sounds funky. So, what's the red flag for you in the girl? What's red? Like it's done. A boy, best friend. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm done. That's mad. I've been it? a boy best friend. And when she calls me bro, I know I know what boy best friend means. What does that mean? It means bedtime buddy. I hear you. Like That's it, nuts. And certain guys are looking believe, at us like we're crazy. It's not you and that. If a guy's only friends is just girls, then man them don't rate you. Because yeah. man them are friends all their lives more or less. Yeah. Girls have new friendship groups by yearly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for guys to not rate you You've got to chill with a girl. A girl will chill with any guy that will beat up her. But certain men play the long game. Certain yeah. men do the, 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 the best friend thing, like the girl's best friend, just to get in the bedroom. So, I can't do that, bro. That's lame. For me, lame. That sort of behavior, it's inherited through the neek gene. Yup, the boy best friend is a huge red flag, especially if he has a history. What's the worst date you've ever been on? One time this guy took me out for coffee, and then we went for a walk in the park, and right before we kissed, he told me he was in a relationship. Huh? Did you actually kiss him? No, we didn't get to that point because he stopped because he said he's in a relationship, so I was like, okay, I'm never seeing you ever again. You guys again. have good coffee, a nice walk, everything's going great, and then bang, he drops yeah. the bomb. He said, I'm in a relationship, I cannot kiss you, and I'm like, okay. Wow, man, I love Hey, at least the man had the decency to stop and not cheat. Just saying, would you rather him be a cheater? Excuse me, would you like a kiss or a spin on the wheel? I'll take the spin. Okay, spin it. Oh, I'm excited. Are you? Uh, I'm all right. Let's see, let's see. Staring contest? You kind of lost the staring contest. I mean, I guess. I kind of wanted you to lose the staring contest. Okay, I'm a minor. <laughs> He clearly was not interested, but at least he won the challenge. Baby. Yeah? How many people have you slept with? Um... Just you? Come on, kid, just me. Mentiroso. Hey, only you. I see. kept me up all night. Oh, they kept you, you up all night? He was honest. If she was gonna get upset about the answer, she shouldn't have asked. Okay, if you have 15 minutes with me, what would you do? Oh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. On camera? I mean, if we can record it for my OS. I ain't gonna lie, like, <laughs> I'm gonna take you to Bible study. Bruh, That's what I'm we're gonna do. The, I'm reading the Bible. Uh, it's not very long. You read the Bible? Of course. That's okay. Dang, at first I was expecting a pretty spicy answer, but that was a good one. What's the biggest ick a girl can give you? Not being stable, not having her mind made up on what she wants, and just like if she for the streets. She for the streets. What do you mean? What classifies the fourth street? Just the. Just the. Right here, here first. Thank you. <laughs> wow, he was straight up with it. No hesitation at all. She's a ten, but she has her pronouns in her Instagram bio. Well, I don't know what's going on with her pronouns, but to me, 
That's a zero. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's going on down there, but you either got one or you don't. Yeah. See, even this grandpa knows how to spot the red flags. Honey, I'm sorry that your uterus is shedding and you're not feeling well. But I had a sliver this morning and it really hurt. And I have a pretty good mood about it now. So I was just thinking it could be an encouragement to you to change your attitude. <laughs> Honey, I have the greatest idea ever. I heard that distraction was really good for relieving pain. So since the house is messy, I figured you could do some dishes and maybe do a load of laundry and scrub a toilet or two to really distract <laughs> Honey, are you still cramping? Why don't you use a heating pad? That would help. Why don't you run to town and grab a new one and you can grab me an Xbox controller while you're there because mine broke and I'm in a lot of pain about the whole thing. <laughs> do you know what always makes me feel better when I'm not feeling well? A really nice massage, a warm bath, some hot tea, some chocolate, popcorn, and a nice movie. That sounds so good right now. I know. Would you be able to make that for me? My tummy kind of hurts. <laughs> <laughs> this guy really just risked it all, and he is playing with fire. Would you marry a woman that does... No. If I'm marrying a girl, we're definitely having children and caretaker of my kids. Like having all that available on the internet. I think it's just, it's not for my pride and like the relationship, the relationship with my children, nah. You gonna play the devil's advocate? Yeah, sure, why not? All right, what about you? No, sexual and romantic exclusivity is extremely important in a quality relationship. I would not want other dudes jerk my girls. It's no. a bag! She can make money other ways. I'll take care of her, I'll pay for everything. She doesn't, she doesn't need Bad. If she's loyal, I'll take care of her. It's really hard to date or marry a woman who does OnlyFans. She's gotta stop at some point. A guy, you say you want Oh, I got a good one. You. Can we hang out whenever you get back? Uh, now you wanna hang out? No, I do, yeah. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm gonna go with someone else. Go. Cool. That's the guy that has, has had a crush on me since seventh grade. That's a W Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all the way back to the seventh grade, that must have hurt. No such thing as toxic masculinity? No such thing. Oh. There are toxic people, and those toxic people can be masculine or feminine. But when the man pulls you out of your burning building, you don't give a f how masculine he is. He, there's no two masculine men. Masculinity is masculinity. Femininity is femininity. Toxic mas masculinity was a term created in the 1990s when psychologists were trying to study violent offenders in prison. When guys would step on each other's toes and then they would start stabbing each other, it was just a term that was used by those psychiatrists to, to determine a type of behavior where men would resort to extreme levels of violence for no reason. And then somehow mainstream psychology got a hold of it and became this pop term. There is no such thing as toxic masculinity. There is just masculinity, and then there are some people who are toxic. Toxic. That has nothing to do with each other. I can show you tons of people who are extremely toxic online, and some of them are masculine and some of them are feminine, but the two are mutually exclusive. The, the idea of toxic masculinity is to shame men for doing things that other people don't agree with. There is no such thing as toxic masculinity. Wow, this is actually pretty neat to know. The origin of toxic masculinity is pretty shocking. You know, in fact, she eats healthier than I do. No, she doesn't. I take her grocery shopping, and the cart is loaded full of fruits and vegetables. I don't even eat that much. That's what she had to eat the day that we did the pre-interview with her. 7 a.m., four or five donuts while she's cooking breakfast. What did she have for breakfast? A seven egg omelet with a cup and a half of cheese, and then she had four corn dogs dipped in nacho cheese and a full-size bag of potato chips. And you're right, she had a couple of strawberries. Now she had three sandwiches with ham, cheese, mayo, tomato, cucumber, avocados, croutons, bacon bits, and ranch dressing. And she said, this is where I get my vegetables. Now we get to lunch. She has a large pepperoni pizza. Then at one o'clock, she has snack number three, two bowls of ice cream. Then at two, she had two bacon cheeseburgers, a box of mac and cheese and three bananas, tacos with rice and beans. Then she had a whole box of honey buns, a whole box of hot pocket loaded potatoes. Then at 10, a bag of pepperoni. And along the way, she drank a gallon of sweet tea and six candy bars. I wasn't expecting the words, then for lunch. How can she even afford this? Give me a fire pickup line. Probably be like, uh, I'm worth a couple hundred million. I, I figured that'd be something like that. What's yours? Do you like pizza? I get it. Because I want a I pizza like that. Right. Oh, well, I, I didn't see it going there, oh. but 
I thought you knew the joke. That's why. No, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. I get it, it and, and that would probably work, too. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Dave Portnoy can just bring up his money and girls will flock to him. Uh, this is, um, Johnny, uh, from what? Hey, bro, I think you should leave that. We're right no, we we just, we just, I just had a quick Oh, uh, we're just friends. I just had a really tough time at, uh, at work, so he's, he's sort of... Sorry, I, I told you I was at home. I just, I didn't really want to get into it. Yeah, I know. Um, I've seen you. I've seen you. Johnny! Yo, where are you, where are you going, bro? Hey, hey, where are you going? Hey, yo, where are you going? You've been caught out, man. Johnny. Oi! Where are you going? Uh, you got, he, he's literally just We're a co-worker. Babe, no, come on, he's a co-worker. Why would you be down at the beach on a so weekday? Why are you guys here? Look at him. Look at him. They're here, they're, they're here for support. Yeah, there's support. So why is he walking away? Just Where leave him out of this. He's in the wrong. Why is he walking away? You've been caught out. Rough time. Yeah. What rough time? I was having problems at work. Or with him. Right. Right. You're on a beach. No, you're right. Right. You're on a beach. You're right. 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 You're She's like a seven. She's like a seven. Where are I don't understand why she would only cry after being caught. Like, don't do it in the first place then. They've got to have bunda and they've got to have melons, bruv. If they don't have any of that, then they're and wash and I'll just shush them off, bruv, forever. Like, they've got to be down with it. And they've got to have that glint in their eye. Like the glint. Do you know what I mean? It's got to be that or nothing, bruv. Bro sounds like a typical college frat kid. Pro tip, don't sound like this. Hi, uh, again. Uh, I delivered food here yesterday from Chipotle, mm -hmm. and you put down that I didn't deliver it to you because I just got fired from my job. Yeah, it was you. This is my only source of income. I do this all day. Now I'm fired from my job because you want your $10 burrito? Are you out of your mind? Who does this? Who does that? You got me fired. Like, I need the corporate number or something. Because I, I need to get your fired. Does anyone have a corporate number? You have one? I'll contact Yeah, yeah. All right, you want to say that you got your food? I'll contact them, but... But what? Did you, did you get your food or what? I even called my lawyer. He told me I didn't call the cops because it's theft. It's theft. Are you going to say you got your food or not? Or should I call the cops? Because you, you're stealing. I'm not stealing. Yeah, yeah, you are stealing. Yeah, who does that? Who is your ass? Who raised you? Seriously. Piece of trash. That's what you are. Trash. Are you the, are you the manager? Can I help you? Yeah, I delivered food here yesterday from Chipotle on DoorDash. I DoorDash all day. That's my main source of income. That's all I do. And this girl, I delivered it to her. And then she went on DoorDash and put down the I didn't deliver it here. So then I, this morning I wake up to go DoorDash and I'm fired because of her. Because she said I didn't deliver it. I would never do that. I had it right to her. That's the girl. Is there a corporate number I can call or something? Because you guys have thieves working here. Your phone number here. You have thieves working here. Wow, she really tried to get him fired and got a free meal. Well, karma bit her back. Oh no, I just dropped my phone. It would be such a shame if the hot guy in front of me could put his phone number in and pick it up. Where are you from? Here? Go around here? Why don't you come find out? Okay, let's see. That's where I look like I come from. What do you want me to say? Anything. Mmm, these nuts. You asked for it. <laughs> All right, yeah, no, I'll give you one more chance. Okay, I'll see you soon. Nice to meet you. Are we broken up? Is that it? You got some single friends? No, they're all pooping. It's time to come when they're done. Okay, they'll wipe. I'll make sure they go do it. <laughs> that was the most awkward but riz-filled video ever. I had a good man last year. I let his ass go. <laughs> I was, he was a good man, but he, like I said, he was not my good man. He was everything that I mentioned. He did it, but as, he did it 
but in regards of what benefited him, and he demanded so much without considering who I am as a person. Mm-hmm. He pays pay for everything. Okay. Um, any problem you had, he fixed it. Okay. Um, he was good. You broke it off. I broke it off. Okay. I ghost him. Okay, finish, finish. Okay. For the simple fact, he wanted to have somebody love him in a, a he was the only child okay so he wanted me to treat him as like his mother hoping that i would be super affectionate and i'm not so that used to aggravate him to the point that he'll yell to the top of his lungs mm. i deserve to be loved like this i die, die. you absolutely do so go find you somebody else that can do that for you because I cannot hold you. I can't. I can't do that. That's not who I am. Okay. Affectionate. It's not that I wasn't affectionate. He wants me to be super affectionate, and that's not something that I am. And I, I it's like even if I try, I'm fake. This is just all sorts of messed up. It's fine to leave a relationship, but you can't just ghost someone like that. So what do you hope to achieve in your life? I want to travel a lot for sure. I don't know if I have like a specific purpose in that. There's no goal that accompanies it. You don't seem to have any direction in life, whereas I know exactly where I'm going and what I want. And granted, that's nothing wrong with that, but because I know where I'm at and where I'm going, I don't want to have to babysit someone to where I am, so. Valid. If your partner's goals don't align with your own, leave her. But why does this man have that Redditor energy? Big energy. Big energy. Big energy. I don't like this term, big energy. Or small energy. Because everyone's about body positivity, right? How are we going to talk about men who have desirable characteristics have big And men who have undesirable characteristics have small there are some wonderful men with small penises and some terrible men with big penis. Women can willy-nilly throw out big energy, small energy. If I started throwing out loose energy as a term to describe someone that was undesirable in some way, I would get canceled. But loose energy, bro, you get in trouble. You say that sh- mm, There's other terms to use. Cavernous vag energy. Body shaming should not be for a specific gender. Why can men get away with shaming other men? It's the worst day you've ever been on. So we went to the Pistons game and then took me to a club and then pushed me to the side and was like talking to the the whole time. All the you knew them by name and everything. Yeah, boy. Well, now she knows he's not the one. Better luck next time. Do women want a man or do women need a man? I think that the question is a quality of life question. Can I survive by myself? Yes. Would that be a good quality of life? Absolutely not. It would be miserable. I also think that the language around woman empowerment is so condescending mm. to tell, you know, like a boss babe, you can do it yourself. It's, it's like it's like talking to a baby. Yeah, but you the, can but do you it. Started you started it. Could, could you imagine if we were doing that, though? Uh, hey, but I'm yeah. an independent man, yeah. Adam. I'm going to be an independent yeah, I, man. Like, I'm a boss man. I'm a boss agree. man tonight. I, I don't need no woman. I, I, don't need I, I pay my no, own bills. Hold on, let me pull I up get my own nails <laughs> done. How about, let I me, did my own hair today, Michael. I, I, let me pull up in this rolls, and I won't say but I do that instead, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And but to, to your credit, I see what you're saying, it is a little condescending, yeah. but I'm willing to bet that women made up those terms, not men. I don't men. dispute that at all. Okay. I think that the modern feminist movement is the cause of a lot of sex, both directed at, at men and women, um, which is why I had a really hard time letting go of the term feminist, because obviously I want women to be empowered into whatever, but but I find that it just does not fit how I feel. It's okay if you want to be a little bit more masculine, a little bit more feminine, but you can also embrace the role that was, and for the longest time I was rebelling against who I am to try and appease this feminist idea of like, mm-hmm. I can work and I can be independent. Yeah, I can, I proved that to myself, but I'm gonna be miserable. See, this is why relationships become toxic. Both men and women should rely on each other. No one is greater than the other. Every woman who had a one night stand with Drake or someone like that, she's kind of in her mind ruined for a normal dude in a normal relationship from that point forward. And I hear this all the time, especially from women who live in Los Angeles. They're like, I dated so-and-so. And I'm like, no, you didn't. I know him and his wife. He 
you for sure, maybe twice. You never dated him. If I look up pictures of you and him on a red carpet somewhere, there are none. There's pictures of him and his wife. You never dated him. And the fact that she even has the thought, the imagination that she dated him. Now think about that. In her mind, now that's what she compares every relationship to. So she ends up dating a shortstop for the Dodgers or ends up sleeping with him like two or three times. In her mind, she dated him and now every single person she dates from that point forward has to make the 20 million dollar a year guaranteed contract has to be this tall and in her mind that's who she wants and when things are dissatisfying in the relationship and the shortstop texts her in the middle of the night she is just far more likely to go back to him does everybody understand that is how social media has dating do you think social media has ruined relationships this could go both ways Can you tell me please who is the boss of your house i'm the boss what do you think? You're his wife, are you? <laughs> what did you say? I said, who is the boss? Who is the boss? My of husband. <laughs> what is your nationality? Greek. I'm Greek. Is it always that way in Greek households, the husband is the boss? Yes. Don't the women, the wives, have anything to say about it? No. <laughs> say you had a man, and you said, hey, when you go to escape, I would like you to dress modestly. What would you say to that? Sorry, honey, we're breaking up. Same. No man is ever going to tell me what to do, how to dress, how to talk, nothing, no. Do you love me? Yes. Will you do anything I tell you to do? Yes. Kiss me on the cheek. Go on the floor and kiss my shoes. Get wet for me. Yes, master. Do you want me to do anything else for you? <laughs> this video makes me just feel weird and uncomfortable. Anyone else? I guess you could say I was a stay-at-home wife for a little mm. while. We weren't legally married, but we were together for right. a long time, for um, a few years. I was working when we met. I was continuing to work. Pandemic came, I lost my job. I wasn't required to go back to work. I could pretty much just like be in the house, you know, things like that. I didn't really have to think about it too much. I decided to leave that relationship because I felt like there was nothing wrong necessarily with it, but I felt like I wasn't growing in it. My goals aren't necessarily to be a housewife. I don't necessarily see myself having children. I don't see myself being a mom and just being stuck in the house. For me, I don't think I could just be limited to just being a housewife. So a lot of people say you had a, a good man, right? Yeah, what, absolutely. I'll never take that and, away. And you left okay. this good man. So what are you hoping to find? Because obviously the next person you date going to have to meet that standard. You know? Sometimes when you're in those type of relationships, when you're in that role, that's just like all they want you to. That's all they want you to do. And to me, I just what didn't want to do it anymore. You want to be treat like the queen, but still do what you want to do no, in between. No, but here's my it's thing, just crazy right? And maybe I mean, she literally had an opportunity to work, but didn't. How could she be so mad? What would you rate me on a scale of one to ten? An eight. Okay. I would say, um, are you lazy in bed? Absolutely not. I'll give you like a strong seven. A strong seven. Okay. What's like your favorite food? I like Thai food. So that's where our, our first date should be? Yeah. Look, I'm gonna get your number and we'll get Thai food. So like, let's say the date goes like amazing. The best date of your life, right? Would you let me eat your Sure. Really? Yeah. You, you clean it, obviously, right? Obviously, my body is clean. Okay, well Morgan, Thai food and eat that. I look forward to it. <laughs> Hey, a seven isn't something to be upset about at all. She took it like a champ. Would you ever what? Lizzo? Who? Lizzo? Do you want me to I pull think up a so picture? It sounds familiar. Oh, she's familiar. Hold on. Mm. She bad. Mm. <laughs> would you? Would you? So like some money to pay that rent that you gotta pay, right? Huh? Huh? What? I said you for some money so you could pay your rent. I don't have to. Do All right, so, wait, so what you doing? Right, so what you doing? Listen, what you doing social media that you get so much money to pay for that house you live in? Um. What? Hurry up! I'm waiting, bro. Don't don't get advice from this. Aggressive. Right don't say that word. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm not sure who the bigger fool is in this conversation, but it truly was awkward. A man who makes 100000 300000 a year, that's good money. But for my specific life goals, at 24, with plenty man, of... The way you're talking, 
is like you say you got a lot of options, but not for the kind and caliber men you're talking about. Not that kind of money. You may have a lot of options for dudes making, you know, average money, but not for no man talking about three, four hundred thousand dollars a year. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not here in Atlanta. Well, like I said, for my life goals, a man who makes a hundred thousand, three hundred thousand a year, that's cool. That's good money. But that's not enough money for me to say, I'm stopping what I'm doing and only your cares matter. What I want to do for my family, what my goals are. This is a single woman. Sometimes it's literally painful to watch how delusional these people are on a podcast. Please, like, move over a few inches. I'm just trying to sit. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Can I, like, can I just come in, in here? Thanks so much. I just really want to catch some rays right now. Oh. Thank you, guys. We can even like share if you're D. Okay, I might just go face first right now because I'm, hey there. Mm. There's nothing like a gorgeous day in Miami, you know? How about them crabs? You guys catch any? Or? How in the world is this girl just letting this happen? She must have been so confused, but I strive to be at this level of unbothered. Why are you single these days? Well, I was in a toxic situationship for like the last Ooh. year and a half. Anthony's um, like, <laughs> it's like if you date me, like, I'm kill uh, I mean, <laughs> You gotta, you gotta have a bit of toxic, right? You gotta add some spice to it, right? <laughs> um, so when you say you like some spice, describe that. Yeah. Me and my like last situationship like almost got restraining orders against each other to leave each other alone. And we still ended up in each other's bed and we're still blocked on everything at the time. So um, there's just like, yeah, a lot of toxic stuff. Anthony's like, yeah. I can handle the challenge. A Anthony, do you have any words to Kaylee how you're different than these men? Um, I don't have any restraining orders against any maxes. So. I didn't get one at least. <laughs> if you're calling it toxic, but you like it, then you're the problem. Would it be my preference if a girl just didn't even have social media problems? Oh, yeah. This is giving red flag. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Here's the interesting thing is that men are not allowed to have preferences, standards, and boundaries. Nobody bats an eye when a woman says, I want X, Y, Z in a partner. But the moment a guy says, here are my boundaries, preferences, and standards, oh, misogyny, red flag, da, 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 this, that. And the fact of the matter is, women are more picky than men are. Women have far more standards for men than do men have standards for women. But if a guy says, I want X, Y, Z, insecure, misogyny, blah, 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 it's always going to be met with some sort of shaming language. But go ahead. Hmm, this guy is telling the truth here, but I think it goes both ways depending on the relationship. There's a lot of violence against women. There's a lot of it, violence, against lot of violence, men. Against men. violence against men. More violence against There's women. No, there isn't. Statistically violence, speaking, you know men are way died. more likely to yeah, be shot, to be stabbed, and to, commit to be suicide assaulted. And you know what women are more likely to be? More okay. likely to be SA'd and they're more likely to be stalked and they're only more likely to be S8 if you don't count the prison population. Do not that. speak up about those things because then they it makes them feel weird. And it's other men that are that are making other what? men feel like they can't It's other speak men? Up. Are, yes, that what you it said? is. Are it's they? toxic masculinity. They're are. afraid of being judged by women. Exactly. No! And her I would never yes. judge a man if he got assaulted. If he got I assaulted, that, that came is... back crying to you? No, no I, I wouldn't judge him. I've, I've been in that position. I've been in that position where I've been assaulted. I'm a good person. And for you to make that assumption is this Terrible. is the thing we're no, 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 again, remember my thing earlier about how women are depending on my own benevolence to ignore the point? This is what they do. Me. You're assuming that I don't care, that I'm saying you don't care about that person? No, no I'm saying you're you un would be out. unattracted to him no. as a man. No, yes. no. Just because they're different subjects doesn't mean men are not victims. Oh, thick. You like your Like thick. Not length, but thick. Uh, can I show you? Oh, Lord. Show me. I want it like, like this. Okay. Okay. That's too small. You like white dick, black dick, dick. Black, baby. 
be black. Chill. I don't do the white. You don't do the white? No. Really? No. That's rare out here. I'm not from here. Where are you from? Nebraska. What would you rate me on a scale of one to ten? Eight. Your friends are out here. Eight. 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 Oh, okay. So what's the chances I could give you some Uh, very high. She want me. She want me. Very high? Let me get your number then. Oh, I'm on TikTok. Okay, so you be down for me to give you some Yeah. Okay. Pull up. Only if this is gonna be posted. Oh yeah, cause like I got this spotted dick from uh from England. Some good ass. No, that's fake. I'm not falling for that. What you mean? Yeah, no. It's real. No. <laughs> All right, well, let me get your number then. Uh, I'll drop off some. Dick. Period. She didn't have to go into the full-on explanation, but hey, now we know what she likes. Mmm. You cute. But the but the fours is dirty. I'm sorry. I got a pass. Oh. Uh, you tall? I like them tall. But the shoes is dirty, my. It's okay. It's okay. With the the Chanel's? I'm a shoot. I'm a shoot. If it was clean. But I said she got. No, no, she got. Oh no, she got. I'm a shoot. I said, come on. I was saying, they, got, they gotta be clean. That's what I'm saying. Stay clean, otherwise you know they've been roaming the streets. What's the worst day you've ever been on? A guy said that he would pick me up at 7, so I came outside and he was on a bicycle. What? And he had me sit on the front handlebars and I was in like a dress and I was in like heels and stuff because we're going to like a nice place. So I had to like run alongside him to the restaurant. She's a runner, she's a track star. Now that must have been the weirdest day ever are my new winter boots. Are you kidding? These are so cute. I could definitely rock these with some like- Damn, that's awkward. That's what? awkward. My ex had those. She used to rock them with this uh, puffer North Face jacket all Never the time. Never mind. What? Like, how do you remember all that? Like, Oh my god, that wait, that's me. Lilo and Stitch. Yes, it's Oh, Stitch. that was my ex's favorite movie. We used to watch that all the time. Like, what? Like, why do you have to ruin everything? What? What are you talking about? Who the hell cares? She used to do two things of sugar, I remember. French vanilla creamer. What was it? One packet of... Uh, this is not... My ex literally had the same thing. I don't know why you keep picking out the same thing she had. It's annoying. How the hell did she have this? It's a white blanket. She had a white blanket. Uh, uh, yo, what the... Fuck? Get back. <laughs> Where am I? Kick me in your balls. You can go back to your ex. Ain't no kidding. Are you? You gonna kick me in my? That's one thing. That's one thing. We're meant to be anyway. That's what... He's playing with fire. This is a surefire way to get your girl to dump you. I feel so bad for her. Excuse me. Do you yeah. want to kiss or spin on the mystery wheel? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's spin the wheel. Are you excited? Yeah. Really excited. What's your body count? Seven. Seven? Oh wow, what do you think mine is? Seventy. Seventy? Oh my yeah. god, that's really high. <laughs> Why do you think that? Like, what you're wearing. Okay, well that was kind of rude. No, no, no. No? Because no? yeah. you like to look at it. Like, I know you like to look at <laughs> it. No, no, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> no? You could tell he was uncomfortable just by the sarcasm in his voice. Excuse me, would you like to see the rest of this picture or would you rather go shopping? Shopping? Are, are you sure? Is that even a question? Yeah. All right, whatever you want. Okay. Okay, where do you want to go? Uh, my pants keep sagging, so I'm going to have to get a belt, I think. Yeah, I noticed that when I saw you. We can go to Gucci or something. That works. I just realized, though, my pants don't have a belt. We can still get the belt, though. I can just wrap it around my uh, waist. Okay, bro. All right, here's the Gucci store. Get that wallet out. How are you gonna pay for this anyways? Oh, it's center money. Okay, here's your belt. Gee, thanks. Hold on, let me, I gotta, I gotta, gotta inspect this thing here. Here, take, you can take this. I'm gonna need that though, it's for eBay. But um, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Do you like it? Oh yeah, I, I love oh, it. It's wrong, the way you have it as well. It's multi-purpose. What do you mean by that? I could think of a lot of ways to wear this style, this use it, you know. <laughs> you forgot your box for eBay. Oh yeah. Have Appreciate a good it. one, yep. I'm scared. Hey, that was a good choice. Great guy for sure. Just wanted a new belt. Men should not pay for the first date. Uh, no. Well, I'm gonna... You okay, let's talk about... We're gonna talk about this one real quick. <laughs> so, you think the guy should pay for the first date? Absol absolutely. Absolutely, he should pay for the first date. 100%. Gone are the days of people just dating one person at a time. Similarly, gone are the days of people sleeping with just one person at a time. So if you're going on a first date with a girl, you have to assume she's 
least one other guy. You have to assume that. She could be sleeping with two, three other guys. So my thing is, I'm not gonna pay for a girl if she's another guy, point blank period. You do not adhere to your traditional gender roles if she does not adhere to hers. Man or woman, doesn't matter. Someone's gotta pay. Huh? If you had different friends. Oh, now you want to talk to me. Hold on, y'all. Now she's trying to talk to me. Now she got something to say. What you saying? Oh, I said if you had different friends. Pass on. Oh. What you talking about? It don't matter what she mean by that, I pass. She tried rejecting him before he could reject her himself. You he was moving a bit prestige on the date, and I'm not gonna lie, Ooh. I could see the wow. cheeks on Instagram for free, bruv. So you need to chill out, bruv. Wow. The CRB came back, and it says you're for the streets. You know them ones where you meet someone in life, and then after that you're just like, yo, I'm glad I never have to chat to this person <laughs> again, bruv. Oh, Tell the streets I said wagwan. <laughs> Damn, that dude was not gonna let anything stop him from sharing his true thoughts. What will y'all rate yourself then? Like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> what, 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 what would you rate us? Don't mind if I do. Give us that. Oh, can you give me a spin? Spin, girl. <laughs> okay, what about you? I'll give you about a good force. A four? Okay, come on now. Is that what you said? You're like five, six. It's always about the height. It's always about the height. You like this guy right here? Um, he ain't my type, but I don't know. What's your type? Actually, I like Mexicans. Not the Edgars, though. Like the Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> Mexicans. Like me? Yeah, like you. Like dark, dark, dark. I got a seven. <laughs> it's the motion in the ocean. Well, say your, say your number so I can text you later. 512-293. Now the whole world's going to know. Text me. All right, take care. I ain't texting that. <laughs> uh. How are they going to be mad after asking the guy to rate them? Like, what else did you want? Where are you from, though? Brooklyn. <laughs> Why you keep looking over there? Why you looking at your voice? Because, look, I got to get back in the car with them boys. Okay, well, they Battery in your back. It's about you right now. So I, I have a question. Do you have a brain? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. What's that? I gotta, you gotta I ain't, I ain't jacking your attitude. Ah. I ain't jacking your attitude. Smash or pass to the face must be a tough one for both sides. But you just said a second ago that building yourself up is good. Trade it is for yourself, but not for just attracting other people out there. She should be with you for you. Interesting. Melina, if you, you're you married to what? Destiny, shout out to Destiny. If Destiny was broke and 300 pounds, would you be in love with him? I would be in love with him. Yeah. Bull. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you could say that, Stop. but I mean, it's, I'm being Stop. honest. No, I'm fully honest. No, no, with I'm you. not saying, I'm not saying yeah. that if he lost his money now and something happened to him now, you'd stick by your man. Respect, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm because I love him for the things that's Destiny, not the shallow things. And if you met Destiny and he was 300 pounds and he had zero subscribers on YouTube, he's like, ah, I'm gonna be a gamer. You would have not given him a second chance. Of course I would. Because there are, there are, there are, there are, there are things. I like him. She literally just went against what she originally argued. Does she even realize? So people could be like, wow, she has a $25,000 bag, but I've never... she has no house, doesn't own her car. Is living paycheck to paycheck, but she has a twenty-five thousand dollar bag. Never, I've, I've never understood that. It was like, as a woman, like, do you need the bag to get laid? No. no. Do you need the bag to get a job? No. Do men need... aren't impressed by it. You're yeah, trying to impress girls not... who you don't like. Like, grow the f up. Yeah. Sell the f bag. Put that down payment on a car. Or f else. Like, do something for yourself. Like, you do not need this f bag. Sell the bag. Dang, she is spitting fact after fact. Men really don't care about the price of the bag. Go get out of debt first. For a hundred dollars, can I have your girl? No, she's mine. Okay, what if I increase that amount to not one, not two, not three, but four hundred dollars? No, no, no. You sure? Is, are you just saying like your girl is here? 100%. Okay. Yeah. I swear a bit of hesitation. Okay, what if I throw 10 bands? 10,000. Can I see it? You want to see it? Yeah, yeah, play with it. What do you mean, can I see it? No, I would never accept, but... Why are you 10, even 000. looking at 10, it if you're not going to accept? 10,000. But why are you looking at we it? We can split it. Why are you getting so mad? Chill, chill, chill. 10,000. 
Um, right now, whatever it is, bro. Ten thousand pounds. I just want his girl for ten thousand pounds. No, you can't say that, bro. <laughs> thank you. Thank you're you. so rude. Well, you have to give me the money for that, bro. You can't say that, bro. How are you saying that to his girl? That's my money. How are you saying that to his girl? How are you saying that to his girl, bro? For ten thousand, he, he's considering it. But why would you even ask that to a man? He feels less of a man now. Wait. Imagine I come up to your mom and say, "Can I mom for ten thousand pounds?" Getting mad, this is getting mad. Okay, wait. Nah, I mean, so he's considering it though. Just let them go and give me the 10,000 pounds. Do you want to do it for 10,000? I think I have to. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Two years down the drain, you're wasting my time. Damn, the guy passing by was not having it at all. What were some of the things you were told about men while growing up? Don't trust them. Yeah, I agree with that one. What is the most surprising thing you've learned about men from your experiences? You can't trust them. <laughs> Facts. Do you prefer a man who is a gentleman or a bad boy? Bad boy. Bad boy. Is it fair to say women lust after bad boys but want to settle down with nice guys? Yeah. If you happen to be looking for a quality man, where would you expect to find one? A quality man? Church. Yes. That's when was the last time you went to church? <laughs> she is just copying what her mom says. I wonder how she raised her. You do. Um, I work in board game development. Let's go. Do you play board games? Actually, I do. Yeah? What board games do you like to play? It's like a Bulgarian ones. Very cool. Are you from Bulgaria? Yeah, I'm from Bulgaria. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Wow. Why did you press? Because, uh, just not my type. I'm sorry. No problem. What are you looking for? Well, uh, someone that, uh, likes to work out and likes to have fun. Doesn't even need an explanation. If she doesn't seem to be the right type, don't keep pursuing her. Alright, child. Today we're going to be seeing how dumb my girlfriend is. Now, name three presidents. Not including George Washington or Barack Obama, Joe Biden. Bro, shut up! Then I'm not, not gonna not do it. Not including those, go ahead. John F. Kennedy. Uh, Martin Luther King. Um, Trump. I have a dream to have a smart girlfriend, because this lady is first. Martin Luther King. <laughs> Did you just say Martin Luther King was the president? Bro. No, real. Bro. Like, I don't care. I'm done playing this game with you because all you want to do is put me down, put me down. Let's put me down. Now you're being manipulative. Martin Luther King is a crazy answer. Like, I'm actually gobsmacked. Listen up because I'm about to give you your most powerful tool in a relationship. As men, it's the ability to walk away. Whether you're in the initial flirting stages or a year into a relationship, that girl will always be on her A-game if she knows that you have a solid set of boundaries that you aren't willing to stray from. If a girl knows that your desperation will leave you settling for subpar behavior, she'll continue to test the limits. She'll maintain contact with exes. She'll continue to normalize her nightlife antics and she'll do the bare minimum when it comes to being a supportive partner. So make it clear that a breach in your boundaries will have you walking out the door and thank me later when the power dynamic shifts in your favor and you experience respect for the first time in your life. Yep, don't be afraid to walk away. If the relationship isn't working out, just leave. I'm actually a high school teacher. Okay, we can role play. I get that a lot. Oh, would you ever or have you ever suited? No, I like older men. Daddy issues. Mommy issues too. You mean a girl with daddy issues? She's hot in bed. You be riding. I am the future of the youth in America. She is teaching our youth. We're doomed. This honestly has me a bit scared for the future. So I don't give a what my girl does because if she goes out and she cheats on me, God forbid, then the trash took itself out. I'll break up with you. It's it. Is it going to hurt? For sure. But that's way better than trying to sit there and control her and not get her to go out because I don't want her to cheat on me. If she's going to cheat on you, she's going to cheat on you. Like, there's nothing you could do to control that. The, the whole idea of controlling someone is an illusion. But what you can be is confident in yourself so that you don't try and control them and try and tell them who they can or can't hang out with or who, where they can or can't go. He's got a great point. If someone's going to cheat, it will happen regardless of what you do. People ask me all the time, Nima, why don't you do drugs? Well, one night, years ago, I took the most beautiful woman at a New York City nightclub home with me. She wanted to try pain, and I really wanted to sleep with her. So I tried it. It was all right. But when we got naked, I looked down and realized I couldn't get hard. Then I looked at her and realized she had a dick. The moment I realized that nightclubs are bad and to focus on myself. Now I got a yacht in the ocean, got my condo over there in Miami Beach. Focus on yourself, boys, because some women are distractions and some are men. 
You could not pay me enough to get this information out of me, but the man has a point. To be honest, the pajamas is crazy. <laughs> Very On me. I don't know, you seem cool, but the toes has got to go. The toes got to go, the toes got to go, for sure. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Clearly, he wasn't a big fan of the pajamas. Ross, what do women really want? I don't care what they want. I only care what they respond to. See, my focus is a little bit different from the other guests. There's what women say they want, there's what women think they want, and then there's what they actually respond to. I'm not an academic, I'm not a theoretician. I'm interested in what works on the street when it's time to date and mate. And what women actually respond to is not what they say they want. So what do they respond to? They really respond to a guy who's a challenge, a guy who's a question mark, a guy who keeps them guessing. This attitude that you now have is more appealing to women? The attitude is vastly more appealing. Basically, the attitude is I make no excuses for what I want. And number two, I don't need you. You need me. But there's a massive power imbalance in favor of women when it comes to dating and and women, through their behavior, through showing men what they actually respond to, force men to act in a certain way. Yes, some women will say the complete opposite of what they want. It's like a game. I think a guy should pay for the girl when they go out to dinner, I think. Do you consider yourself a feminist? I would say, like... Do you believe in gender equality? Yeah. So why should the guy have to pay for you on the first Just date? Just like what Lindsay's saying, I think I there's a difference. Okay, so are you guys traditional women? That's a that's a really broad question. I think that you're, if, well, you're if, expecting men to adhere to their traditional gender roles. Are you a traditional woman yourself? Because you don't equality is not a buffet where you get to pick and choose yeah, that which benefits you and you say no to that which doesn't. It's interesting how the girls are preaching equality but have completely different ideas of what it means. What made you want to cook? I learned how to cook like just going over social media and everything. I'm like the women like a man who gonna get in that <laughs> kitchen and go crazy. So I'm like why not go even crazy about throwing some seafood as right. future say. All bad women eat seafood, yeah, so might true. as well go with the pescatarian. It's natural. That's very Have true. Have you ever got cheats off your cooking? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. You cook like a real gourmet meal for a woman, she gonna go beyond like belief what she was gonna do if she didn't have no food in her system. Especially if you go crazy, you gotta wear the apron too. I let her come over. I made like a the same salmon mm -hmm. and like some scalloped potatoes. Cheat code. She came in the room, no questions asked, hang, hung the head off the bed. Oh. And I was just doing tea bag motion. Nice. She hung it off the bed by herself? Oh, no. I directed her. I said, you know, lay on your back and just be free. And she <laughs> let me do me. Bro just cracked the cheat code for how to make women happy. Where can I get, like, some food? Like, you can go down the hub. There's, like, a, like a whole cafeteria of food options. If you oh, like, floor. lots of food. Oh, I'm not the person for that. I, I, I don't got you for lots of food. Oh, I, I thought the hub has the food. That's why I was gonna go there. And you just told me to. So. It's got it's got food, but not lots of food. You're confusing me. This is confusing me. I don't know what you're doing. Do you want food? Or do you want? Yeah, food? I'm starving. Then I'd go to the hub. I don't know why you were. Yeah, never mind. Because I got yeah. you. I don't blame him. I'd be kind of weirded out as well. This is uh, an argument you might get from someone from, like, say, Victoria's Secret. Well, the only reason that we put these uh, Victoria's Secret models up there are skinny and tall and gaunt and have the features that they do with facial symmetry and hip-to-waist ratio is because men see them that way and they objectify the women. So what you could say is the argument is the arena that women compete on is defined by men. And if that is the case, then the opposite is true, which means if you guys are complaining about things that men do, guess why they're doing it? It's because you reward them. I promise you yes. right now, if every yeah. woman came together and made a stand and said, we will not any more narcissists yes. and psychopaths, like, yeah. what would happen? Hold on. What would happen? Do you guys understand how natural selection works? If you selected, all of you selected against men who were and are psychopaths and narcissists, what would happen to them? This is an indefatigable truth. They would disappear. Wow, when you think of it this way, it all makes sense. Women are just letting men objectify them. Personality? Or looks? Both. No, you only choose one. And all the kings out there, when people ask you personality or looks, you can always say both. No, no, no. You don't settle one.
Oh, we gonna. Oh, that's crazy. Fa okay, fashion was. I the, the Kraken hat doesn't go with the sweater. What's your biggest hobby? Biggest hobby, DJ. Can you two show me your best club oh. dancing? Oh, is that like the rescue? Oh no. Nope. Why did you reject me? Okay, the dance moves. I got secondhand embarrassment. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so what kind of vibe are you looking for? I don't know. I'm having fun. You seem cool, but I want somebody that knows what they want. You know, and the whole like, you know, I don't know my vibe, kind of a little bit of a red flag for me. Okay. Sorry. These guys definitely dodged a bullet with this picky girl. Officer, my wife is missing. She went out yesterday and she hasn't come home. Okay, what's her height? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe around five, six. Okay, wait. Uh, I don't know. Not slim, not big. Color of eyes. Sort of blue, I think. Uh, I never really noticed. What's the color of her hair? Well, that changes all the time depending on what hairdresser she goes to. What clothes was she wearing when you last saw her? Could have been a red dress, maybe a blue one. Uh, I don't know exactly. When she left to go somewhere, did she go by car? Yeah, she did. And what is the make of that car? It's a high performance 560 horsepower Audi in a very specific gray silver metallic paint. It has eight speed pedal shift automatic transition and a 6.35 liter V12 engine generating at least 560 horsepower. It has a Z51 super performance package, larger than normal alloy wheels, GT bucket seats, satellite navigation, and unfortunately a little thin scratch on the front left door handle. Don't worry, sir. We'll find your car. <laughs> <laughs> when it came to the car, this guy knew everything, but for his wife, well, well, well. If you are cheating, she is divorcing you. Yes. Are you okay with that? I mean, I don't want to get no divorce, but if that's what, you know, what we got to do, that's what we got to do. Do you love her? Yes. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to stay with her? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> Hey, at least bro was completely honest, but man, that nah was crazy. Daniel, do you have a wife? No. Would you want to wife me up? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, do you think I'm not attractive? Oh, you are. Oh, like what do you rate me out of 10 then? <laughs> uh, nine and a half. Why wouldn't you wife me up? Not enough energy. Oh, you want my energy like this? So would you kiss or slap me? Oh, I'm not going to slap you. Oh, so you'd kiss. <laughs> <laughs> no. This old man is indeed a savage. Why are you staring at your child like that? Because I have a question. What's up? I feel like you might be him. Yeah, why you say that? Are you the daddy of this baby? Oh, hey. No? We might need to do a paternity test. Well, if you want my number, just ask. Yeah, and? You don't like MILFs? Are you scared of me? Are you scared? Are you trying to assert your dominance by getting up higher than me? No, I'm about to work out. Try to work out? Sure. Let's lift some weights. I'm already lifting a 10 pounder right here. <laughs> Bro was so freaked out, and I would be too. He was trying to get away from her. Here's why you should never get married. In 2023, guys, unfortunately for us men, the marriage laws are not in our favor. Look at famous celebrities like Tyrese, Dr. Dre, Jeff Bezos, guys who have made it with plenty of money and suffered greatly through a divorce. Guys, 50% of my money, I cannot afford to give away through a divorce. I refuse to give away through a divorce. And I think until marriage laws change, there's no incentive for men to get married. And if a woman truly loves you, she doesn't need you to marry her through the state. You can take care of her, provide for her but if there's a greater risk for you to do this then you should not do it so as a man 2023 until the marriage laws change don't you dare sign on papers and marry a woman See, this is why it's so important to find the one before jumping into marriage. It is 98% of women can be broke. As long as you got the money, they will turn over their morals for every man, every woman. As long as you got money, love doesn't exist anymore. Everything is transactional. Like, you know what I'm saying? In the world are transactional. You gotta buy a house. You gotta buy your car. You gotta buy. And you gotta food, buy love, gotta apparently. Buy your, yeah, you gotta buy your clothes. You gotta buy your hat. You mm -hmm. gotta buy your, your podcast equipment. You gotta buy your furniture. So why, when it comes to a woman, we gotta be for free? She did not get the point. Love should be free. Money does not buy love. We have this woman over here that literally dresses like this around a college campus and decides to do this to a guy? Well, his girlfriend is right behind him. And thankfully, he gave the best response yet. Excuse me, sir, would you like a kiss or a spin on the wheel? Nope, I actually have my girlfriend here. Oh. If you had 15 minutes with the both of us, what would you do? I'm gonna I mean, do it. Probably go to City Hall and file a goddamn restraining order. Why are you in my house? Oh, I'm sorry. Get the 
Oh, well, the door was open. Relax. Literally, the door was open, you freak. Bro almost got a restraining order on them. Was he in the right, though? Oh, God. Can I, like, on a, what? do it again really quick. What? <laughs> is that where you think it really goes? It's throat spray. Where else am I supposed to spray it? This no, is, your is this fault. my fault? This what? is your fault. Did I, no. did I fail you? It's throat spray. Let, let me know if it works. It's throat spray. Anna. It's throat spray. Oh. There's no way she really thought that was how you use it. Maybe it does run in the family. How I find my wife in the store part two. Locator secured. Honey, I'm gonna go get some pears. Don't worry, I'll find you. <laughs> oh my God. I thought you were gonna go to the baby section. <laughs> I'll meet you over there. <laughs> I'll be right back. I will have no issues finding you, trust me. <laughs> Where is she? Oh. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> oh, because you're just so cute over here shopping. <laughs> trust me, I am not drawing attention to you. <laughs> Honey, catch. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, how in the world did she not notice the giant balloon attached to her? Like, how can you say women are privileged because they get these opportunities, but then judge them for acting on that privilege? Well, privilege is invisible to those that have it, and no one respects anything that is easy. So, if a girl decides to monetize her and put herself in a certain light, well, there comes with consequences typically, and when you objectify yourself as a woman, men in return objectify you. That's how the world works. But it, let's say he's Justin Bieber and he sleeps with many women, that's easy for him. Then really? why not devalue what him? What did that? Justin Bieber have to do to become Justin Bieber? Exactly. It wasn't easy. He was in Canada, struggle, but auditions. But he didn't have to utilize game or charisma. But he had to become a Grammy Award winning, nationally known singer yeah. that has toured the world international superstar. The process doesn't matter. The point is- The right process now. Oh, doesn't matter. Have to create a change in the world and create value to others. That's how they get status. You get status, women are a byproduct. Women, however, don't have to have any status, no success, and can get a man that does have status. That is why men that can get women are respected, and women that have a lot of dudes are not. We don't play by the same set of rules. It's very difficult for a man to be attractive. Most guys are invisible to women. This guy has a great point here. Some people are just born with privilege of being pretty, and the fame comes after. Do you think that the wage gap exists in America? Uh, no, I think it's flat. The wage gap? <laughs> yeah, men should definitely make more money. Why? Oh, uh, they're better. <laughs> In what way? Uh, stronger. A woman can't be better than a man, like? Maybe at, like, ballet. <laughs> Alright, so if you're a woman, just stick to ballet. It's all you can do, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, I guess. Wow, this guy just roasted all women top to bottom. Trans <laughs> on the end. Um, I don't know why, but why is your bulge in your pants bigger than your Come up here! Come up here! Come up here! Get the best of both worlds! I'll beat you like a woman and beat you like a man. <laughs> Geesh, she was not holding back whatsoever. That was a savage response and a half. We have this girlfriend who disrespects her man and instantly regrets it. He ends up getting super mad at his girlfriend for doing this right in front of him, and I don't think it's funny at all. This is 100% cheating, and I'd be pretty mad as well. All I can say is, welcome to the gym, brother. What's the biggest ick a girl can give you? Honestly, probably like when they can't like parallel park. Damn, that's like half the women in the in the world. Yeah, it's pretty sad. It's just something about watching them just like struggling to get it in there in that little sideways parking space. Just that that struggling, it just makes me never want to talk to them again. I feel attacked personally. You can't parallel park. Nope. Oh. A unique but very reasonable reason to not want to talk to someone. But honestly, what would you rate yourself tonight? Rate myself? Yeah. Um, I know how this go. I Be really real. Know. Don't give me no BS. You know what? I'm just gonna say an eight. Eight? Now, how would you look without that makeup? Uh, very young. Very young. <laughs> See, if I'm gonna ba if I'm gonna rate you, I'll give you about a good about a 5.5. Okay. Hey, a 5.5 ain't too bad considering that amount of makeup. Not too hard, not too hard, not too hard. 
No, hit her like you really want. That was pretty good. All right, she. Okay, I'm gonna pitch her. Uh, she just said something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bradley Martin oh, abuses women. That was hard. No, it wasn't. I barely even swung. Is my stomach red? As she tries to flex her abs. Is my stomach red, guys? Brad barely swung and she has fallen over. Don't worry, it's all fun and games. What is the most effective way myself. that people can use work? Well, your experience as a doctor. Right. One of the things. Eat that less food, do more exercise. <laughs> Dang, gotta give bro a round of applause for taking on five women during the show. One question, that is it, yeah. What happens now, yeah, God forbid, yeah, if your husband gets sick and it can't work? Then I have to find a new one. I have to find a new one. Hey, I hey, hey, hey. hey. I, I will stay, I will stay, but I have to find a new one. I will have to find a new one. I'll have to find a new one. I'll have to find a new one. So did you ever really love him or are you just with him for the second There's no love. There? There's no love. Where, there's no love. Forget it. There's no love. No, I'm saying in her situation, there's no love. In her situation, there's no love. She's getting married. She's no, married. I want marriage. I want marriage. She's, she's being married to be looked after. She's being married to be looked after. No, no, no. No, she's not going to clean. She's not going to clean. I'm not cleaning, by the way. I'm not cleaning or cooking. She's a queen. She's a, she's a queen. She's a queen. She is a queen! Because it's obvious, you're asking stupid you questions. I know, but why don't you understand what she's saying? It's like, you're so dumb. She's going to be a princess. Her husband needs to run ASAP. But like, you think this is wifey material? Are you saying that I'm not? Are you saying that I'm not? What's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, do you think she's wifey material by showing her no. Who? Wifey Who's material by showing I mean, she's pretty fine. You know, I don't know about wifey material. Well, no, because wifey stuff. material doesn't define what you're wearing. It's the type of Does person it? that you are. Nah, true. Okay, I agree. But if if I let's say if I was your boyfriend, I wouldn't like you to be wearing. Okay, but you're not. She's my girlfriend. No, I'm not. That's why I don't give. A I want my girlfriend to wear this. I think my girlfriend looks hot. I want no, no, my girl no, no, to wear no, like good. that. She but good. I agree. What is a guy gonna think when he sees this? She a little. I want my girl to go out and everybody be like, oh, she's hot. Thinking as a guy, as a guy. Excuse me? That's so you're calling a me a That's the way guys think, So, bro. yes or no, are you calling me a I am. I don't know why some women talk like that and act like that. Clearly, he dodged a bullet with this one. Glad she got a taste of humble pie, because she was way too full of herself. We live in a world where a man has to be financially stable just to date a broke woman. He really isn't wrong whatsoever. It's crazy how even broke women expect a rich man. I do not allow my girlfriends to have guy friends. And they have to choose if they want to be with me or if they want to have, keep their guy friends. And that's a line that I draw. And really? You know, Why is that? It's an experiment that I pulled with many girls. I said, oh, this guy, now I've known him since I was 15. He's like my brother. So I say, okay, let me send him one message from your phone. And I send the typical, you know, Tristan's been treating me badly and you're the guy who's always been there for me. Do you ever have some kind of interest? And it's always, always, oh my God, I love you. I was waiting for this message. There's no such thing as guy friends. Don't even pretend that you don't know this. Guy friends can be good or bad. Mainly bad. It all just narrows down to their intentions. You're looking at that. You're waiting for that red light. That's correct. Yeah. Carly has never had a boyfriend. Really? Never. So what shies you away from not having a boyfriend? Is it yourself or you? nobody's pursued you? It's kind of like it's never lined up with the right person. Ow. Oh, dang. You did not careful, to careful. Don't touch me. <laughs> Now that, my friends, was a very brutal rejection. Must have stung a lot. If I cheat on you and you find out, I can't trust you no more. <laughs> you can't trust them. I can't trust you no more because you went through my phone. <laughs> <laughs> This is the definition of toxicity. What would you rate me on a scale of one to ten? Three. Three? That's the lowest I've gotten. No, that's the, the solid three. I appreciate that. I would say, I'll give you like a six. A six? Yeah. Are you just saying that because you're salty? No, I, I would give you six before this. But you're cute. Honestly, yeah, no. Honestly, I think that's a low rating. You think that's low? Yeah, I give myself a solid eight. Really? Solid eight. Well, hey, we can agree to disagree. Bro literally rated her higher than she rated him, and she still got upset. Who's the salty one now? It's weird how when girls will they talk about how big and then you ask them how big they they get vexed. But I want to know whether I'm going to fall in your pum pum or not. Whether I'm going to end up in Narnia. Hey, bro has a valid point. Why can't men be asking this question? Are you single? 
No, I've got a boyfriend. But it's long distance, you know? Oh, no, I said this is the bingo. Oh. Oof, that must have been embarrassing. She had with you while you were sleeping. Had to. I mean, and I mean, you, like, you're see, such I drink a, a deep lot. sleeper I that drink. if a woman had you, you wouldn't wake I up. I wouldn't wake up. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. <laughs> My question is, how does this even work? The average man's salary in the U.S. is $40,000. The average woman in the U.S. weighs 170 pounds. Why is there a fat acceptance movement for women, but there's no broke acceptance movement for men? Whoa, man, that's deep. <laughs> that's deep. And they're just as unattractive features, as much as a low-income man is unattractive to women. Um, overweight women are unattractive to a large swath of the male pop population. I think, you know, a lot of us have to settle for what's out there, not myself. Dang, I never thought of it this way. This is a great topic of debate. Are we all gonna have some? <laughs> oh, okay, never mind then. Imagine this lady comes up to you and your partner asking for a three That's just awkward as heck. And finally, this female nurse doesn't know why she's still single. But if you're still posting TikToks like that at 32 years old, then that's probably half the reason. She needs to just get off social media and go to a bar. We have this guy who suspects his girl is cheating on him. So he decides to kick her out of the car and check her phone for himself. And let's just say he finds exactly what he was looking for. Her reaction while he was doing it is crazy as well, because she knows she's been caught. I took my girlfriend's phone and locked myself in the car. Why are you taking it? Give it to me. That's all. Give it to me. Yeah. Give it to me. Nah, what is Give this? Give it to me. Give me now. Give me now. If you don't stop right now, I'm breaking up with you. Give me my if phone. If I was about to go through your phone, I'm up with you. Why are you Give so mad? Phone. No. Give me. I'm coming to you. Give me my phone right now. No. Stop. I'm out for the mailing. Stop. Give me. Mm -mm. Give me. I don't really go on too many dates, I'll be real. More time it's just girls going to my house. Well, we all have our preferences. He just doesn't like dates. But here's the context. Rate me out of 10. <laughs> you like a three? Uh, 300. <laughs> I like a three out of 10. Oh. And your voice kind of pissed me off, I'm not gonna lie. Pissing you off. Why do you sound like that? Uh, sound like out of an anime, stop. Uh, Talk normal. Yeah, you're kind of annoying, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Dang, bro didn't have to be that mean, but still, this was hilarious to watch. What's free times three times three? 27. You know what? I'm gonna give you another one just for, you know. Just 36. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is it? It is 36. Did you, see, uh, did you see my thinking behind I, I you? I like the thinking <laughs> behind it. That's why you gave me another go. Um, huh. They both need to go back to school, apparently. What's the Kevin Gates day? How much you spending? Where, where you taking the girl? Lay it out for her. If I'm taking a girl to do something, she got to do whatever I want to do. Oh, we're going to go fishing. Where, like deep sea fishing to the lake? Fly uh, fishing? We're going to go fishing in the lake, like freshwater fishing. Okay, what, what kind of food you bringing? What's the vibe? We ain't going to bring no food. We're going to catch what we cook. We're going to cook what we catch. Okay, I love it. Bring it back to the table. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies, would you go on the Kevin Gates date? You know why they throw dirt on themselves? Keep the flies away. It's for mating season. I did not know that. It's so the ladies know that they're nasty. Ah. The males have like different tendencies. Yeah. And the ones that like throw dirt on them, they're like really, really c Are you telling me the truth? Yeah. Okay, all right. No, I'm playing around about it. I was gonna say, that does not sound like- Wow, they actually believed him. I'm really surprised. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.